Hey guys, so we are deep into 2021 and the year's going better already, I feel. We've been able to go racing. If you've seen the latest Trollbo video, you'll know we went 7.30 over the 8th, or 7.35 to be exact, over the 8th with the Trollbo and that equates to like an 11.40, so low 11s. And that was off the foot brake, you've got to remember. That was very early in the piece, 21 pounds boost, off the foot brake and it went 7.30. I guarantee if we'd gone off the trans brake, well, maybe the diff would have exploded, but who knows? Off the trans brake, if it had held, it would have gone 7.0 or better. 7.0 is like 10.99. So, you know, that would have been awesome. But it is pretty close to the 10s. We're going 10s with this in a pretty quick uh, fashion, I think. We've already entered it for King of the Street. Um, yes, we're going to get our ass handed to us. Actually, I don't think we're allowed to run it in the classes because it's not actually registered and the cars have to be registered. But Jason and uh, John are allowing us to bring it along and do some test and tune passes. So we'll take it out there to Heathcote. And I reckon it's going tens at King of the Street. So that's my prediction, tens. We've got, a, got some upgrades planned, all right? We're already talking to uh, the guys at Golby's about uh, some stuff. We're going to do some little upgrades with this and whack some more boost in it. We've also got a bunch of Raceworks gear up the back there, uh, pumps and surge pot and all that sort of stuff that we're going to put into this, upgrade the fuel system so we can crank up that boost and uh, really send it with the Trollbo. Turbo Taxi is up and running again. It's serving as my daily right now, which is awesome, which means it's doing like, you know, 170 k's each day minimum. So it is a good daily driver. We're going to upgrade that a little bit in the very near future. We're going to send it to Jason. He's got a couple of little tricks he wants to apply to it. And then it's going tens as well. So we're going to have a workshop full of 10 second cars, which will be great. The AU is still here. Why is it still here? I've been talking to its new owner and uh, we're going to have to make a decision soon because he doesn't have the room for it and we don't have the room for it. So I'm thinking we will, um, it may be back on the market soon. We'll talk to the new owner and see if he wants to sell it rather than take possession. He doesn't seem too fast either way at the moment, but it's still here. <laughs> and it's taking up room and we need it gone. Ah, the Supermang is still up on the hoist. There's a bit of a story to that in that uh, I pulled the heads and you'll see that in a video coming up, pulled the heads and actually, oh, we've done that video. I can't even remember anymore. I pulled the heads and we got bent valves. We sent the heads off to Powerhouse so they could, you know, works magic and they found the vow the heads are cracked like mega cracked cracked in multiple places they are unsavable so they're going to sort us out a new set of heads get them ported new valves the whole kit and caboodle and that's going to be awesome and then once that's done they go back in and superman will be alive again probably not going tens though it'll go 12s it'll go 12s it'll be fast but Tens is a much further journey and with the turbocharger, I feel. Ah, and as for the rest of the babies, they're all waiting. Anyone want to buy a Valiant wagon? We're probably going to sell that soon too. Because, um, yeah, we kind of got the parts we need out of it. So, you know, if you're looking for a Valiant project car, a Valiant wagon, it's tubbed, it's got a nine inch, could be up for sale real soon. So. If you're genuinely interested, get in contact. MX-5 still sitting down there. We've got a turbo upgrade for that from Pulsar Turbos. A couple of people have predicted this was going to happen, and that is coming real soon. Well, actually, the turbo's up there on the bench, and we've just got to make up a dump pipe and all that sort of stuff, but we're busy with some other projects in the meantime. So we're going to make that happen soon as well. Um, I'd love to take it to King of the Street, but I've been instructed by my superiors that we need to tech that car. It has to have a full Andra tech before we take it to a drag strip again. They are worried about oh &S, as you should be. And uh, yeah, so we're going to make that safe before it goes to a drag strip again. So, but we're going to give it more power too. So, yay. Anyway.
it is mail day. We've got some mail. Whole range of boxes here of various types and descriptions, some of them not in boxes. We'll start off at this end with these shocks which turned up out of kind of the blue from the guys at Australian Automotive Parts. Now they've sent us these shocks for our Volvo. They realised that we were putting old shocks back in the Volvo. And they've gone, well, we've got some Volvo shocks sitting here on the shelf. We'll send them to the boys. And here they are. So have got a pair of shocks to put in the Volvo. They did have, they thought they had some fronts as well, but it turned out they only had one. So they're going to find a, a batching one for that and then probably send them as well. So that's awesome. Thanks, guys, for that. Uh, yeah because the Volvo definitely needs some suspension work because she's a bit... If you've seen the video, she gets up on the... Yeah, yeah, she's a bit loose. And from the guys at Tuna's Edge, we have this Snow Performance Boost Cooler. It's a Stage 2 Boost Cooler. It's a water meth injection kit, and this is going in Turbo Taxi, and it's going to help us go tens and keep the engine safe while it's doing it. So, big shout out to Arthur at Tuna's Edge for sending that across. Those guys are awesome. If you're ever looking for uh, like drag radials, their stock of drag radials is just amazing. They have so many drag radials. I think he buys them all. And uh, yeah, so, but he's got a great range of products there as well at Tuna's Edge. But anyway, Tuna's Edge hooked us up with a boost cooler. Looking forward to putting that in. Now, ugh. Big box of parts here from Mace Engineering because obviously we've had some uh, issues with the old Superman. And I pull a call out, and the guys have said, Sure, here's a bunch of parts to help fix those problems. Make sure I don't cut myself. Don't want to do that today or any day. So. Let's see what we got. The obligatory sticker. Always good. Here we go. The Rollmaster timing chain. So no more broken timing chains. This little bad boy will fix that. <laughs> more blower oil, which we will need because uh, we're going to do some blower upgrades. We've got some new pulleys because we're going to put uh, this power bond unit on there. So SFI spec power bond balancer going on there, underdrive, overdrive sort of setup. So overdrive on the, uh, the blower side of things. And we've got some boost upgrade pulleys there as well. So a little one and a, a littler one, I think. I think we've got two different uh, drive pulleys there to test. Then we've also got this important part. So when you put a double row timing chain on one of these V6 motors, the clearances become an issue between this and the back of the timing cover, well, more specifically the oil pump cover. So they machine down an oil pump cover, which is what that is. So put that on the back of the oil pump and it improves the clearances between the timing chain and the cover, so definitely needed. And there's a sensor for something, I can't actually remember what that was, but yeah, something we need. So, whole bunch of gear there from Mace Engineering, which is much appreciated. Those guys have been great supporters of the Superman. And uh, yeah, if you're doing supercharged sick stuff, you need to give them a shout, because they are kind of the Australian experts on these things, so yeah. All sorts of goodies there. Righty. One for the box later. And then over here, from Summit Racing Equipment, who we uh, deal with from time to time, especially when it comes to stuff that's just not obtainable here in Australia. You know, like, let's face it, the Australian automotive marketplace is very much geared around LS's and Holden's and the occasional Ford, not much Mopar stuff. There are a couple Mopar 
guys here in Australia, you know, but they don't carry everything. So sometimes, especially for those unusual jobs, you need to uh, reach out overseas where the uh, aftermarket is so much bigger and Summit is our choice when we reach out overseas and go for those hard to get parts. So, whole list of bits and pieces that I've got here for our 6.4 Hemi deal. So for those that aren't familiar, ACM Parts have sent us this very nice 6.4 Hemi V8 and that's going in the Valiant wagon, not that wagon, the other wagon that's still sitting at my joint. So, to do this conversion though, there's a couple specific parts you need. Obviously you need a different sump and that sort of thing and I've already ordered the sump but you also need a pickup, which wasn't available at the time that I ordered the sump. So I've come and ordered the pickup, which is there. And that took ages to show up, I'll tell you. Not Summit's fault, but it just, it was on back order through Summit for like months. So the, uh, yeah, it took a while to, that was what delayed our order from showing up. Then we got dipstick tubes to suit our setup, specific dipstick, look at it, it's very twisty, you know, and it's just these little hard to get bits. This is a delete pulley for the power steer, I believe, but again, something necessary, dowel pins, I didn't, didn't know at the time if I needed them because I didn't have access to the workshop when I ordered all this stuff, so um, SFI approved flex plate, bolts, oil filter adapter. These are all necessary parts for your Hemi conversion. And then I thought, while I'm shopping, I'll buy a book on how to do Gen 3 Hemis. So always good to uh, have some new reading material. And I figure maybe I'll start rebuilding my own torque flights as well. Let's face it, I've been pulling down a lot of automatic transmissions lately. So yeah, some of the black magic is starting to reveal itself and uh, starting to work some things out. That is a big, thick book, though. has a lot of pictures, though. Got to say, it looks comprehensive. So maybe I'll start building my own torque flights. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of gear here that needs to go in cars, and so we're going to make that happen sooner rather than later. You're going to see all that on future episodes of Carnage. <laughs> <laughs>